Happy Saturday, YouTube family, YouTube friends. Today, I am back with a lot of work from home job leads. I want to say seven work from home job leads, six anywhere between six and seven. But I want to tell you that FedEx is hiring, and I'm going to be talking about part and full-time jobs, um, jobs that you can choose your own hours. And also, if you're struggling to pay your bills, you need a free laptop or low-cost laptop, or you need free training, or you need resume help. We're going to go over there. So we're going to go ahead and dive right into the first opportunity. Again, FedEx is hiring. They have a lot of positions available, but we're going to be talking about supply chain analysts to work remotely. This is a full-time position. And when we scroll down, the first thing that we're looking for is how much we're going to get paid. The salary, as you can see on the screen, is between 47476 all the way up to 86526 And this is depending on experience. And that is around anywhere between $22 to $41 an hour. When we dive in a little bit deeper about what are you going to be doing every single day on this particular job here, you're going to develop monthly materials forecast at the item level using historical data, customers' input, statistics, forecasting, models, and marketing trends for assigned customers in event. When you go down a little bit further, you're going to collaborate directly with sales and customers to identify opportunities to increase sales through trend analysis and ob observations. And you go down a little bit further, they require a bachelor's degree in operation. All of this finance, marketing, supply chain are related field preferred. And then also it requires a high school diploma or GED or eight years of relevant experience. And they're looking for someone that has a strong team player. If this sounds like something that you're able to do, then go ahead and apply. Even though it says bilingual with Chinese and English, I spoke with hiring manager, you can still apply even though you're not like that. But again, explore within the company, see if there's any other opportunities that will may be a good fit for you. And if this is something that you want to do, you just want to scroll down like I'm doing, or you can go all the way up to the top. Let's go all the way up to the top and hit apply button. This is opportunity number one. And again, this is full time. Now, opportunity number two is with the company VXI. They're seeking patients coordinated uh, to work from home. This is remote. We scroll down. We're looking for the salary. The salary is right here, $15 an hour. The great thing about it is 100% paid training, which is a great opportunity um, for this uh, position here. When we scroll up and we're trying to figure out what we're going to be doing every single day, is you going to provide expert knowledge on programs, requirements, and application status while delivering exceptional customer service, demonstrating a strong sense of urgency, and data entry skills, active listening, and then you're going to serve as a primary point of contact for patients and healthcare professionals, guiding callers through the application process and resolving inquiries promptly and accurately. When we dive down, the qualification is just a high school diploma or GED associates or college degree preferred, and then they want you to have an understanding of knowledge of commercial and major medical insurance program, billing requirements, healthcare benefits, investigation process, prior authorization, and appeals of filings, and then also Medicaid and alternating funding resource too as well. Now, also when you go down a little bit further, again, they do offer great benefits, and if this is something that you wanna do, you want to make sure that you go ahead and apply immediately for this type of job. This type of job move very quickly. OK, so this is opportunity number two. Before we get into opportunity number three, I want to talk about uh, make sure you save the date for November the 3rd, Sunday at three o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. I will be going YouTube live. So or if you're ready to create a standout resume that passes the ATS and get noticed by employers, let's do it together. You're going to get hands on experience doing this you're going to pull up some tools for free and you're going to actually walk you through just remember that the time is supposed to be going forward so make sure you plan accordingly but again join me on november the 3rd 2024 at 3 o'clock p.m central standard time i will be going youtube live okay now we're going to dive down into actually the uh, third job okay so we're going to do that here the third job is with the company Fala software they're seeking quota specialists to work from home and when we scroll down they do not have the salary so i take upon myself to research and according to glassdoor the salary is 22 dollars 24 an hour again know your worth always negotiate your salary at all times necessary when we dive in a little bit deeper about 
you know, what are you going to be doing on the particular job here? We're just going to go up. Basically, you're going to provide support and training to the internal sales community, identify troubleshooting and resolve any errors of concerns. Also, additional responsibility include, but not limited to generating quotes, following up on sales leads, district summary reporting and responding to inquiries from customer service. When you go down a little bit further here, they're saying a minimum of 1.5 years of recent relevant experience in sales, sales development, or high volume customer service role is required. They want you to have strong project and team management skills, as well as proven ability to deliver quality output in a flexible, often ad hoc environment. If this sounds like something that you're able to do, then all you need to do is scroll down like I'm doing and complete your application to the best of your ability. This is opportunity number three. Now we're down to opportunity number four. It is with this company, as you can see, like Healthcare Solution, they're seeking provider enrollment representative one to work from home. Now, when we scroll down, we're looking to see how much we're gonna get paid for this position here. We're gonna scroll all the way down and see if they list the salary for this position here. You're gonna scroll all the way down. The salary is between $17.20 an hour, all the way up to $20.60 an hour. And then the great thing about this is that they will give you at least $50 a month for your lifestyle benefits, which is great. And when we dive in a little bit deeper about what you're going to be doing every single day on this particular job here, we're going to go all the way up to the top here. Basically, you're going to research. We're going to research here, research and control incoming applications and correspondence to ensure work is properly categorized. And then when you go down here a little bit further, you're going to coach providers through the enrollment process and provide inbound phone calls or phone support. And then when you go down a little bit further, they would prefer you to have a high school diploma or GED, six months of clerical experience, and then advanced computer skills, keyboarding, and data entry. And they also want you to know Microsoft Office skills. Go to Microsoft 365 training where you can learn it for free. And if this is something that you want to do, then all you need to do is scroll down like I'm doing and complete the application. They do have a deadline. The job will be closed October 23rd, 2024 at eight o'clock AM Central Standard Time. Here's what I'm talking about. Lifestyle benefits, $50 a month. So go ahead and take advantage of that today. All you need to do is just go up to the top and where you see apply for this job here. And that's what you, all you need to do is click apply now. This is opportunity number four. Now opportunity number five, is as you can see on the screen here, is with this, um, I call it missionary of our lady health system. They're seeking financial analysts too to work from home and they don't list a salary. So I take up on myself to research and according to Glassdoor, the salary is between 49K all the way up to 78K a year. That's between 23 to $37 an hour. Now, when we dive in a little bit deeper, you're going to do financial statement preparation, recollization analysis. You're going to also reconcile pool investment managers account to custodians. You're going to prepare and reconcile debt schedules to BS. And then when you go down a little bit further, you're going to process by weekly payroll. And they're looking for someone to have three years of related experience, a bachelor's degree. And if this is something that you want to do, all you need to do is click right here where it says apply now. This is opportunity number five. Now, opportunity number six is with the company Armstrong Receivable Management. They're seeking remote phone auditors to work from home. This is a full-time position as well as a entry-level position. And we're going to look and see how much they're going to pay you. We're going to go all the way down and see if they list a salary for this position here. You're going to go all the way up. Here's the salary here, thirty between 30940 all the way up to 35000 depending on your experience. That is between $14 and $16 an hour. Now, we, we dive in a little bit deeper to see what we're going to be doing on this particular job. Okay, we're going to dive in a little bit deeper. You're going to understand and incorporate the fu fundamental guidelines when completing premium audits. You're going to be making calls to insure agents on a daily basis. And then also you're going to correspond with policyholders, CPAs, bookkeeping agents to gather additional information as needed. And then they're looking for someone that has strong judgment and critical thinking skills, strong written skills, ability to multitask and bookkeeping experience. And again, this company do pay weekly. You get paid every week. So that is the great thing about it. And if this is something you want to do, you scroll down like I'm doing and complete your application. This is opportunity number six. Now we're down to part-time type of work. 
This is great here. Um, you can also choose your own hours and work when you want to work. And according to hiring manager, there's no interview required for this position too as well. And Scribe America, I've talked about this before, they're seeking remote medical scribes to work from home. They do offer flexible uh, schedules where you can work two shifts per week. And then uh, they want you to be able to type 50 words per minute. Make sure you go to officialtypingtest.com for free and you can practice your typing for free. So basically you're going to gain knowledge in, on how to appropriately document patient's history physical exam, assessment, diagnostic results, medical procedure, treatment plans, medical opinions of consulting, uh, medication, prescription information, and follow-up instructions, as well as you're going to monitor pending labs and radiology orders for results to help guide patients' care. And then when you go down a little bit further here, they do offer comprehensive health insurance, 401k for full-time employees, a fun and impactful team culture. They do offer flexible schedule, full-time and part-time positions. And if this is something you want to do, again, the pay is between $10 and $15 an hour. Go ahead and apply today. This is opportunity number, um, I say, seven here. So... Again, take advantage of this. If you come across these jobs and you're not seeing what you're desiring in your heart, explore within the company and see if there's any other remote jobs that may be a good fit for you. You just never know until you explore within the company. Now, you know that I'm always here to help people when they're struggling with bills because this is very important. A lot of people are struggling in living paycheck to paycheck. Here's some free resources that can help you out with food and a laptop. And this is only United States. United Way 211 provides free and confidential assistance to connect individuals with local resource for help with utilities, housing, food, and other essential needs. You just need to go to their website, 211.org. Government system programs, they have various federal and state programs offering financial aid for those struggling with bills, including assisting for housing, utility, foods, and health care. You're going to go to benefits.gov. Now, there's a lot of organizations out here. You may say, I don't need this type of help. I just need a free laptop or low-cost laptop. All you have to do is go to PCS for People. They provide low-income individuals and families with refurbished computers, internet, and digital literacy support. You're going to go to PCS for People. The ONIT Foundation offer free computers and internet access to low-income families with kids in K-12 students in the U.S. You're going to go to ONIT Foundation. There's a lot of organizations out here. If you don't qualify for a free laptop or low-cost laptop, look under this video. I have some affordable computers that you can purchase that are like $192 that would get you running and, and you know, till you find what you're seeking. So take advantage of that. All you need to do, again, there's a whole bunch of organizations out here. Just visit the website to understand the eligibility criteria for receiving a free or low-cost laptop. Follow the application process as outlined by each organization. This may include in providing proof of income or need. Always explore local resource and community organizations as they may have specific programs for providing technology to those who are in need. Maybe you need help with your internet, okay? So in order for you to work from home, you have to have a high-speed internet. That's just how it's going to be. But there's organizations out there that can help you if you are in need. Uh, we're not going to go over the first one because they no longer have funding as of June 2024. But there's others that you can look into. Everyone own uh, partner with internet providers to offer low-cost internet service and affordable device to low-income households. They also provide digital literacy training. They offer plans starting as low as $10 a month through partnership with providers like Comcast, Spectrum, Spectrum and others. You're going to go everyone on. We go down a little bit further. Even AT&T assets offer affordable internet service starting as low as $5 to $10 per month to households that participate in the SNAP program or Part of the affordable connectivity program, you're going to go to AT&T Assets. So there is a lot of places or organizations out here that are willing to help you if you need help getting your, re not your resume, sorry about that, but getting high-speed internet um, affordable or they can pay for it, so take advantage of it. Again, there's free training out there for every job title, so just take advantage of it. Corsa offer free courses from top universities and companies on the various topics, including business, computer science, and more. While many courses are free to audit, you may need to pay for certificate. 
Also, EDX provides free courses from universities like Harvard and MIT. Similar to Coursera, courses can be audited for free, but certificates require a fee. There is a whole bunch of courses out here that you can take. I even try them out myself so I can go and you know, tell you about it, like HubSpot Academy. That is where I'm taking courses through. Um, I'm taking courses. Um, they provide free courses and certifications in inbound marketing, content marketing, social media marketing, more. That is what I'm taking courses on. But they do have courses like in dating entry, accounting, billing, medical, billing, and coding. You just have to go and take advantage of it. Again, get out here and explore and add more value valuable um, information to your resume. So take advantage of this. Just go and Google and you will find it, okay? Now, you know that I tell y'all is to stop paying somebody to do your resume for you. Stop paying for resume templates. When you do your research, people are spending anywhere between $25 all the way up to $2,000 to get their resume revamped. And one, they still can't get a job. Two, they have never got their resumes, okay? So make sure that you go out here and do your research and do it on your own. That's why I keep saying, join me on November the 3rd. That's on a Sunday at three o'clock PM Central Standard Time. That you're saying that the time is gonna go forward, I believe, but make sure you be there at three o'clock PM because I'm gonna walk you through and show you how, what I did to optimize my resume to get over 10. I had over 10 jobs reach out to me for an invite to an interview. So I want to be able to help you go out here and get a job. But again, remember, I will be YouTube live on November the 3rd. That's on a Sunday at 3 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. I look forward in chatting with you real soon. Now, Earn Better is 100% free. All you have to do is sign up and build your own profile. Once you build your own profile, you're able to search for work from home jobs on this platform. But what I ask you is to do your own research for a peace of mind. All the jobs that I give you, there have been, uh, I've reached out to hiring manager just to double check before I, you know, do a video on it, but I ask you to do your own research. The advice that I give you is always to apply on the company website. And when they're asking for money up front, run, it is a scam. Okay. So take, you know, I just want to throw it out there to you. Once you apply for jobs, you're able to track jobs. So every jobs to my right, all the jobs that I look at or I apply for, it keeps a track of it. And interview prep, the great thing about this platform, you're able to practice your interview, okay? So every job that I apply for, AI has generated an interview sheet sheet for me. And if you scroll down, I can start practicing. So on the other end, there's a pre-recorder that's asking me about three interview questions at your own pace, tailored to my profile or your profile. They would grade your response, provide feedback instantly, and you keep improving. It only takes five minutes to practice for your next interview. So wherever job have, you know, that call me about an interview, say for example, if this, if it was this company, I can click on it and AI has generate a interview sheet sheet for me. So they're asking questions. What do you think would be the most challenged about this role? They're giving me the answers. All I have to do is reword it and make it my own. Why should we hire you? Why do you want this job? What kind of environment do you thrive in? Why are you, why are you a great fit for this role? So they're giving you answers, y'all. All you have to do is put it in your own words, as well as they're giving you general best practice for interview. Like remember to use the STAR method, which stands for situation, task, action, results, to structure your response, provide specific examples, and showcase your skills and experience. And they're saying make eye contact and smile. Now, a lot of people, when they go in interviews, they don't ask questions. And when you don't ask questions, that make it look like you're not interested in the job. So they're giving you different questions that you can ask. You need to ask all of them or three of them or four or five. You choose. What are your skills and, and experience you're looking for in an ideal candidate? How long have you been with the company? What are the next steps in the interview? So at this time, you can download it so you can have it to your side where you can always go back and, you know, look at it. I call it your sheet sheet. Okay, so I'm going to get out of here and I'm going to go into documents. I'm going to show you how to do a resume. I'm going to show you how to do a cover letter. I'm going to show you how to do a thank you and a follow up. So go grab your water, your tea, whatever the case may be. And I want you to drink it. Excuse me, I'm getting a drink. Okay, so we're going to go over resumes. That's the first thing that we're going to do is you're going to click right here. 
Now you have a choice to upload your resume if you desire to, but I, I prefer for you to start off from scratch and you um, make your resume. So I'm going to click no re-upload, but always save your resume as a PDF file because according to hiring manager, it is more readable, but we're going to start from scratch. I don't have a resume and they're going to ask you what job are you interested in applying for? We're going to go back to the first job, right? We're going to pretend like FedEx. This is a job that I have to have. So I'm going to copy and paste this word for word. Okay. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to go back to earn better. So like I always say, you can either type it out or you can copy and paste. I prefer to copy and paste and I'm going to hit save and continue. This is my resume template. Earn better is billing my resume template for me. When I say stop paying somebody for resume templates, I mean it. You can go to design and they're giving you free resume templates for you. And also you can go on canva.com and you can get free templates as well. All you need is either classic, bold, clean, or moderate. I say stick with the classic and the clean because that is more readable for the ATS. I feel that all this bold to the top and to the, to the left is going to throw the ATS and I really need a job. So I want to stick with the classic and clean. That's just my opinion. Now, in order to get started, all you have to do is hit text. And when you hit text, all you, you have to do is just start putting your information here your email address, your phone number, your city, and your state. And if you have a LinkedIn profile, you can use your LinkedIn profile. You have a choice to do a summary or you can switch to a objective. So I'm gonna put down seeking a, and then copy and paste that. And I know it's, it doesn't sound right, but I'm gonna have AI to rewrite it to make it sound more professional. So AI is, Going to change it. So here's suggestion one, suggestion two, suggestion three. So you choose. So I'm going to choose suggestion one and hit apply edits. I'm going to take objective out of here. And there's, how, you see how I rewritten something simple and make it more professional. Then it's time to add my work experience. Whatever you did on the job, I'm going to put data entry. And then I'm going to put the company sick track. Hold on just for a second. Sick track. Hold on. Sick track. And then it puts the information. You can come in here and put the start date, the end date, and then you can write what did you do on this particular job. So I can go back into FedEx and, and I'm pretending like I don't have this is my resume and this is what I did on this particular job. I'm going to copy and paste, put it into earn better. And there it is. If you have another job, you would do the same thing. But I'm going to move on here. Your education, you can add your education. Whatever degree you have, you put it here. If I say I have a bachelor's degree in applied science and computer science from Texas University, I graduated, um, I say January 2023, I can put it there. If I have any certifications, I can put my certifications there. If I have AWS Cloud from SIGTRAC, you know, you see, I'm putting all that information in. You can also add your skills in here if you want to, if you, you know, you can manually put it in there and add it. It's up to you or you can give, um, they had suggested some skills according to the job title. You can put that information in here as well. It's just up to you here. Okay. So basically you just put that information in here and it automatically saves it. You see, it saves it right there. Now at this point you can share your resume or you can hit finish. I'm gonna hit finish. And basically what it's going to do, it, here's my resume right here. I'm pulling it up. It took under seven minutes, y'all, to do this uh, resume, to make my resume. Here's my objective, my work experience, education, certification, and skills. If I see something wrong on it, all I have to do is go back into text. And I can either delete a job, I can go in here and edit the jobs uh, or change something around. It's up to you, know, you what you want to do. So I show you how to do a resume. I'm going to show you how to do a cover letter because a lot of application requires that you do a cover letter. Again, I'm going to go back into FedEx and I'm going to copy and paste this job title here because I want to do a cover letter for this particular job. Go back into earn better and I'm going to copy and paste that. Hit save and continue. And they say, do you have a job description for this role? If so, please paste it below because that's how they tailor your cover letter to the job post. I'm going to say yes. 
and I'm gonna hit FedEx. And then I'm gonna go back into FedEx job description and I'm gonna copy right here from general all the way down to education, copy and paste, go back to earn better. And I'm gonna paste that and hit save and continue, okay? Now it's asking me which resume that I want my cover letter to go with. Of course, I wanna go with the one I just did and hit finalize my cover letter. And right now it's going to finalize my cover letter. It's getting it ready so it can be ready to be optimized so I can pass the applicant tracker system here. So it can take time. It just depends on the speed of your internet. Sometimes it moves really quickly and sometimes it takes a lot of time. So have your snacks, your water right beside you so you can be patient. Now here is the cover letter. Right now it's standard. You can change it to professionals, confident, playful, informative, inspirational, and you can hit regenerate cover letter and it will regenerate a cover letter for you. But this is what it looks like. You can go in here and tweak it and change it the way you want it to be changed. You can do all of that, okay? It's just up to you. But at this particular time, you can share the cover letter. You can download it. You can hit finish. You can copy the text. I'm gonna hit finish, okay? And then it's giving me some more jobs saying, hey, I need to apply for these jobs. I don't want to apply for these jobs right now. So I'm going to hit the X button here. Okay. So you see here, we did a cover letter. Next is we're going to do a follow up. So I'm going to go to create docs. I'm going to exit out of here. And whatever job you want to do a follow up, you know, I say a week or two weeks after you apply for a job, you should do a follow up. So you, so the company can know that you're interested in a job. Say, for example, I'm interested in FedEx. I'm going to do a cover letter. I clicked on it. I'm going to go to a fo follow-up email. Sorry about that. I'm going to do a follow-up email. So it automatically puts the job title, the company's name. All I need to do is put the email address of the person and save and continue. And it says, tell us about the road. What was your favorite part of the road? The position aligns with my career goals. My skills and knowledge are very relevant. I'm excited about your team. I'm going to say, I'm excited about your team. Hit save and continue. And it's analyzing the job, it's customizing the email, it's getting it ready for me, okay? All free, y'all, 100% free through Earn Better. You got to take advantage of it. It is good. I mean, this is a great uh, product here. So here's my follow-up on my supply chain analyst remote uh, position or application. So you can go in here and you can tweak it, change it uh, the way that you want it to be. Um, that's what you can do. You can open the email, you can hit copy text and you can hit finish. Now I'm going to show you how to do a thank you email. A thank you email is after you had an interview, it's very important to send out a thank you email. So again, they already put the job title, uh, the company's name. All you need is the name of the person who interviewed you, their email address, hit save and continue. Tell us what's your favorite part about the interview. Learn about the company mission, learning the teams working together. I'm going to choose the first one, hit save and continue. And it's analyzing all this information and getting it ready for a thank you for me to send out to the hiring managers or recruiters to let them know that I'm still interested in the job. So take advantage of this. I didn't even have to think. All I had to do was put in um, just the, the, the hiring manager's name and email address, and it made a... Um, Thank you email for me, but I can go in here and tweak it and change it to my liking, make it sound like it came from me. And this is it right here. It took under seven minutes to do. All you have to do is open your email. You can copy text and you hit finish. I'm going to hit finish. That's all you have to do. It's very easy. Now, when you go into documents, you're only titled to do 15 resumes. Once you get to 15 resumes, it's not going to let you do it. Don't get in panty mode. All you have to do explore, uh, is go to these three dots here, whatever resume you're not using, hit delete, hit confirm, and you can make another one, okay? Again, Earn Better is 100% free. Take advantage of this, okay? Take advantage of it. If this video has been helpful thus far, you know what I want you to do is hit that like button as well as leave a comment.
Subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to build a community where we can uplift and encourage one another on our job search and everyday life. And if you want to be a part of the ride, you got to subscribe to the channel. And don't, be, don't forget to share these videos on your social media platform so more and more people can see what I have to offer each and every single day. I want you to keep pushing, keep applying. Never, ever give up. Don't disqualify yourself before you apply for these jobs. I'm going to say it again. I want you to keep pushing, keep applying. Never, ever give up. Don't disqualify yourself before you apply for these jobs. Let the company do it. You got to believe in yourself. You got to speak life over yourself because the power of the tongue determines life and death. I know what it's like living paycheck to paycheck. I know what it's like being at your lows where you don't know where your next meal is going to be. You don't know how you're going to make it, but God will stand and show up at the right time. There's a saying, he may not come when you want him to, but he's always on time. Trust the process. Believe when you've done everything that you can, that means applying for jobs, doing everything you can. You got to stand and let go and let God and let him work the situation out for you. I told you about my story. I was going through so much in a couple years ago. And when I just say, God, I surrender. You got to come in and help me. And that's when doors start open up. Okay. He can't work a situation out as long as you putting your hands to it. You got to just let it go, y'all. Good things come to those who wait. Trust the process. You will find what you're seeking real soon. Sometimes you might have to pick up a side hustle, side gig opportunity, like I did apartment mystery shoppers to make that money until God blessed me with what I was looking for. But again, surround yourself around like-minded people. That's a big thing. It's being around people that's going to uplift you and not drain the life out of you. Okay. You want to be around somebody that's going to encourage you. Jealousy is real. People don't like to see you go to the next level. A lot of people like to see you struggling and living paycheck to paycheck and then begging for money. And then it depends on their feeling, whether they're going to give you $25 or $40. And then, you know, they talk about you go tell somebody else, well, so-and-so asked me for $40. And when you go into the word of God, it says that you can't let your let right hand know what your left hand doing, you know, just paraphrasing it. You don't have to tell people what you've done for somebody. Let it be secret, okay? When I do things for people, I don't go out there and shout out and say, hey, I did this for John Doe and Susie Doe. I don't do that. I don't put people out there. A lot of people do things just to, you know, uh, brag, and I don't do that. I do things from the kindness of my heart. Just keep pushing, believing that a change is going to come. Believing that your blessings around the corner, your test is going to be a testimony. Your mess that you're going through is going to be a message. You're going to be able to tell a story of what you went through, okay? Because people are going through either you entering a storm or coming out of a storm, but you got to keep pushing. Even though you walk run, going through the storm, have your raincoat on, hold on tight, because you ought to know that through that storm, the sun is going to shine again. We're all running a race. We're all competing for the same opportunity. But the thing is, it doesn't matter who come first. The main thing is you didn't quit. You didn't give up. You stayed in the race. So go out there and run your race with class. God will provide for you. He has a job out there with your name on it. But you have to trust the process. You have to believe. And most of all, you have to pray and keep going. Many blessings to each and every one of y'all. And I pray that whatever you desire in your heart, it shall be given in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.